This is a foundation degree in dental technology. It's validated by the Open University and it leads to registration with the General Dental Council. Uh, it's a three year day release course, so all the students attending are working full time in dental laboratory. So they're getting the underlying skills and speed and techniques through the laboratory and they come in here for the background overarching knowledge in the various areas of dental technology which include fixed prosthodontics, so crowns and bridges, orthodontic appliances for moving and straightening teeth, removable partial dentures for people who've got a few teeth missing and then complete removable partial dentures as well. By doing the course and the students are able to register with the General Dental Council and use the titles of dental technician. So that means then they can employ other members of the dental team um, and open their own laboratory in the future as they gain more experience. Or they could go on uh, and do other courses such as clinical dental technology. So we have all the equipment that you'd expect to find in most commercial dental laboratories. We've recently invested in CAD CAM software, so we're using Ceramil Mind on the ExaCAD system and we're just awaiting delivery of our 3D printers, so Formlab 3Bs we're getting. So we're looking forward to using those and integrating those into the course in the future. As a dental technician, obviously it's really important that you've got a really sound knowledge of the anatomy of the head and the neck and obviously inside the oral cavity. So we try to link hands-on learning about the bones, so we've got 3D models and then we've also got computer technology that we use for identifying the different bones and we'll try and blend all that together so it's a really hands-on experience and you should have a thorough knowledge of dental anatomy at the end of it. For partial prosthetics, we'll use, learn to use the model surveyor so we can analyse paths of insertion, paths of withdrawal. We can use traditional techniques of lost wax technique, which is still widely used, and then we can also start to blend that with digital technology. So this is an example of some of the fixed technology that we've done. This is a gold shell crown, or it's going to be when it's cast up. So we're combining the anatomy that we learned in previous units and applying it to doing anatomical wax ups like this. We'll also blend that in again with digital technology and we'll also do some ceramics work as well, building up crowns. For orthodontics, it's a whole new set of skills that we'll need to learn. So we're going to learn how to manipulate wires so that we can use those to make springs, coils, utilise screws to move teeth and to hold teeth in position during orthodontic treatment and then combining it with other skills that we've learnt through using acrylics to make the base plates. While studying on the course you'll do work in the laboratory here and once you're working in the laboratory in the commercial sector or a hospital environment wherever your employer is you'll be doing our workplace modules as well so in the first year you just keep a record of all the practical work that you're doing for all the patient cases as you're developing your skills as you move on into year two you'll do a case study and with that you'll do a case from beginning to end to a, a standard that's good enough to go in a patient's mouth and you'll liaise with a dentist and your workplace mentor to produce the case study and you'll write a technical report about that and then in the third year we expect you to do the same again but at a higher level with a more complex patient case. Once students graduate then um, they'll improve their skills in the workplace um, and some have gone on to be dentists, clinical dental technicians, open their own laboratory. We even had one student who went on to be uh, an equine dentist.